when I saw the tweet last night from Trayvon Diggs about his brother Stephon, and Trayvon's on injured reserve, he has a torn ACL, he's with the Cowboys, but we know this Stephon Diggs narrative is part of the Bills' experience because, look, anytime you trade for a guy who decides he wants to break up with the team he's currently dating, you're the next one in line to be the team he wants to break up with. So it's going to happen at some point that Stephon Diggs is going to want out of Buffalo. And when his brother tweets, man, 14 got to get up out of there. And this wasn't a text message. I mean, maybe he accidentally meant to text him and he tweeted it instead. I don't think so. This is out there publicly for everyone to react to. And Stephon Diggs was, I think, nowhere to be seen or heard. You know, a lot of times what happens is guys who are upset after a game, they're just gone. Like George Pickens, a week and a half ago, just gone. And the media that covers the team doesn't make a big deal about it because they still have to cover the team. and They don't want to stir up crap unnecessarily. They don't want to be that guy to be the one that's saying, you know, hall monitor. Oh, I'm sorry, but you have media obligations. But, you know, Stephon Diggs knows when to, to get out of the locker room. His brother, Trayvon, is talking about getting out of Buffalo. And that thing that happened in June, I don't care how they try to explain it. That, that was a moment where Bill's Mafia circles the wagons and, and gives the finger to anyone who dares to say, man, that's weird. Whatever happened was weird. So wait, he stormed out. They said he stormed out, but the truth is they told him to go. And now they're acting like everything's fine. Like there's something there. And the only yeah. thing that was going to cure it was winning. Five mm -hmm. and five does not cure whatever was bothering Stephon Diggs. Three catches for 34 yards does not cure whatever bother was bothering Stephon Diggs. Standing there and watching your coaching staff put 12 guys on the field for the field goal that was missed and would have won the game does not fix whatever was there. I think unless they do a hard reset and bring in a new coaching staff after the season, I think Diggs is going to want out, period. Just the same reason he wanted out of Minnesota. They extended Kirk Cousins' contract that same day. He tweets his way out of Minnesota. If they keep that coaching staff, Diggs is going to want out. I have not forgotten that Sean McDermott said he was, quote, very concerned about Stephon Diggs that day, right? I, I, and it was weird because it was mid-June. And what the hell are you doing very concerned about a player in mid-June? Like, why, why, I, I don't get it. So there was something there. I don't think we we don't know quite really what it was because they kept everything in house that actually led up to whatever argument it was that Stefan Diggs either stormed out or was asked to leave, but he probably was asked to leave because the bills eventually clarified that he was asked to leave. I, it, it, whatever that was, some of that might still linger. I, I don't know that Steph's brother speaks for him. And sometimes I don't know that that's exactly fair to put on another person what somebody else says. However, you can't look at that and not be concerned in some way, especially given the way things are going right now with the Buffalo Bills. Right? That if things don't improve over the next however many games there are left in the season, then that's something that you have to look at and say, well, I don't know. I mean, there are some concerns right now with Stephon Diggs based on the fact that he, Sean McDermott was very concerned in mid-June, you know, whatever happened there. And now we have this tweet. I'm like, it's not everything, but it's certainly not nothing. Certainly not nothing. In this day and age, given the way that that generation communicates, that tweet means a lot, especially because if Stephon Diggs had a problem with it, very easy to call or text his brother and say, do me a favor and take that down. Take that Delete down. that. I don't need that now. I don't, I, don't, I don't need this right now, Trayvon. I appreciate that you care about me, and we can take this up later. I don't need this public right now. I'm trying to get through this. I'm trying to work this out. I'd like to stay here. I'd like to make it work. But, you know, back to that thing in June, and you're absolutely right. Sean McDermott says he's very concerned that Stephon Diggs is here, creating the impression he stormed out, creating the impression he didn't even show up at first. Yeah. I mean, it was that afternoon of what the hell is going on with the Bills and Stephon Diggs. Is he okay? Yes. Do they even know where he yes. is? Like, I'm yes. very concerned about him. But, yes. but to, to, quote, to quote a line that Big Cat used to utter on this show when he would appear on Fridays, dysfunctional teams do dysfunctional things. That is a sign of the dysfunction that is permeating the Bills organization. And there are other yeah. things with the entire organization. And at some point, it rolls up to ownership. The longer this all lasts without major changes, the more you just say, Ownership doesn't know what to do either. Like, they got a problem, 
and they just keep banging their head against the same wall, hoping that Josh Allen will make that one throw more often. It'll be that golfer that takes that one shot per round into a happy Gilmore type of a transformation. And it's just, it's not going to happen. It's not happening. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.